subscribe to James and Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. Hey, is this stuff potable? Well, I hope so. We've been drinking it for the last six years. You, you've been here six years? What's going on, guys? James here to bring you another video, and it's already the second week of November. This month is going by like that. So let's jump right into our next bad movie Friday. And when you watched 100 million BC, or at least I watched it, I mean, let me know in the comments if you guys are watching it. I haven't ever asked that in a video. Um, yes, update on my hands. They are doing way better. Um, after this week, I don't think I'll need these anymore. But um, enough about me. Let's talk about 100 million BC. So this is definitely a like homemade movie type thing. At the same time, it's not because there are like effects in this, and um, it's it's decent for a bad movie. I like like I said, I wanted to see what like a knockoff Jurassic Park movie would be, and um, this is technically it. Um, uh, it was directed by a guy named. Um, I have it written down here. I already forgot. Um, Griff first, and he also started in as Louis Mayhem. Louis, Louis, my, my man, Louis, my man. I screwed up the, his name. It has a two out of ten stars on IMDb. Now, there is no budget for this movie listed on IMDb, and um, it does not say whether there is a home release or if it was a um theater release on IMDb either. So, there's that to go off of. But, like I said, this was a like Jurassic Park type thing, and it's also a time travel movie. Now, that was that I was not expecting out of this movie. So the story is a group of soldiers go back in time looking for their um teammates who also are from the 50s. So the story is like all over the place. But like I said, it I look kind of like the story at the same time. Like the graphics could have been better. And like the, the main problem I had with it was the camera was like um too close. Imagine this or like this the whole movie my face right up to the camera some people were like off to the side like like imagine this for some of the scenes for way too long or even like th like off to the side like this for some of the scenes for too long and, like up close like sometimes the people would get like too quiet like first they'd be talking normal and then there would be a scene where they're like too quiet that's what was another problem i had so i couldn't really understand the storyline and i was like I'm already halfway through this. I'm not turning on the goddamn captions. So I watched it. Didn't really understand the story other than that they were going through time to save this one guy's brother who was actually my favorite character. And I have his name written down here too as well. So I didn't forget who it was. Um, Dr. Frank Reno. Frank Reno is my favorite character in this movie. But um, yeah, this, like you said, this movie's all over the place. They um talk about that one ship that the military said disappeared and came back with the crew missing and again i forget that project because again the story in this movie is all over the place they they rip off jurassic park with the, the second one where the t they bring a t-rex from their when they go back in time the t-rex follows them through the time machine and um they copy the um scene where the t-rex chases the people on from san diego from the second jurassic park movie now that scene is okay in my eyes but the budget for this movie which i don't think there really was any and again i think this was like a home project movie but um yeah um again i again i think this is i'm not i've been sticking with the three star rating i think this is a th three stars maybe maybe the two i think this is maybe the two star this is my rating two, i think they got up with the two stars this time pushing it three is pushing it Again, these last few movies I've been giving three stars, but this one, um, again, I was looking for a Jurassic Park ripoff. I think I got it. So with that, I will show you guys the scenes from the movie that I best depict what this movie was for me, and then I will be right back. See you in a second, everybody. Leave me a fucking gun.
The uh, Eldridge sailors reported headaches and nausea after the experiment. So we're giving you scopolamine for motion sickness and a strong NSAID for pain. The oxygen levels during the Cretaceous period are half of what they are today. So we're also taking Diamox and altitude sickness medicine to help us breathe. Take your fucking pills! Initiate temporal sequencing. One second, sir. Ready. Good luck, gentlemen. As I said, um, there were moments like what you just saw where they cut in and out of um. The dialogue, the dialogue was one of my main issues, and again, the camera, the camera work, the camera work was one of my main issues. It's an hour and twenty-five minute movie, just short of an being an hour and a half, and there's not really any credits in this movie, so that's just straight movie for this movie. And like I said, it, it's a solid two stars, three pushing it, and I thoroughly enjoyed it compared to my other bad movies. So um. That's pretty much what I got to say. And like I said, the old guy that you saw that was talking about the time travel was my favorite character for this movie. I think he had the best story arc for this movie. So with that, I'm going to end it for that bad movie Friday. So I will be right back after this next clip and we will see what our next bad movie Friday for next week's bad movie Friday will be. I said bad movie Friday a lot in that one sentence. And I fucked that whole sentence up. But I will be back in one second, everybody. So let's see what next week's Bad Movie Friday will be. That was it. Jim! Jim! Call 911! Faithful Findings. We are finally going to watch that movie. About a month or two ago, I said we were going to watch it, but I could not find it or couldn't get my hands on it. And now I finally have... We are going to watch Faithful Findings next week. And um, I will have a schedule posted for next week. Um, I'm not going to exactly upload it right on Friday. I mean, I will have it posted on Friday. It's just not going to say posted on Friday because I am going to Jackson's live show next weekend. So I won't be able to be here to, like, you know, upload the video. So I'm going to post it earlier in the week and have it already made. So that way there will be an, a bad movie Friday next week. So with that, it's James saying, oh, one more thing. I will have a movie for Thanksgiving. I found one that I think will be good for Thanksgiving's Bad Movie Friday. So yeah, unless I decide not to do it because it's a holiday. But if I do have one, but if I do decide to do one, I have one planned. So look out for that if I decide to upload for Thanksgiving weekend. So this is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. This is James saying, peace glasses will stay the fuck up i'll let brandon rogers take it from here peace guys i didn't do the peace sign right um i just want to shout out an amazing channel uh james the sheriff dixon oh he's such a great guy and he is super cool for coming to the show i'm glad i got to meet him in person and you should subscribe